Welcome to Live It Up. I'm Donna Drake, and we are coming to you from the Grumman Gallery. It's pretty exciting. How are you, Stephen? I'm doing really good. Uh, really excited. Like the nice little turnout, so that's always a good thing. We have people come, and that we are working. a lot of positive positivity all around. A lot of good positive vibes. So, yeah. Now, when you uh, found out that you're going to be showing at this gallery, what were your first initial reactions? Um, initially, my thing was basically just kind of bring something more to Long Island because I'm used to doing stuff in the city, so I kind of want to bring a little bit more abstractness to Long Island. Try to do something different. And see I can, if I can contribute something, you know, artistic and uh, probably I want to say not just artistic but thought. That's the one. Now, how did you discover that you were gifted? At what age? Uh, at six. I'm gonna be 43, so I've been doing this for a very long time. But you know, again, growing up, you know, I looked at like cartoon characters and Popeye and all the different things. But then, you know, growing up in inner city, I grew up in East New York, so growing up in inner city it was kind of hard to, uh, you know, relate to the characters because I was like, oh, they're not really like me. So that's not making it my own characters, and then it kind of took off from there. Well, your work is quite lovely. Now, do you always work this large? Always yes. at least three by three, yes, yeah, bigger? Yes, yeah, yeah. so I want to. My thing is like I really want to convey a really large message, and I also want to give the consumer something to like, you know, very big to go home with. I always, I like kind of compare my artwork to like uh, if you ever been to like say a South American or a Caribbean restaurant where you get just such a large quantity of stuff, <laughs> but you don't pay that much for it. <laughs> so it's kind of like that. So you're into the aesthetic value of yes, everything. Yes, you yes, want to make a statement, but yes, you want to make it art that people can live. I feel, I feel like I can get more personal and really large. And talking about powerful statements and films, uh, you also have somebody that inspires you who's here tonight. Tell us yes, about yes, your friend yes, Bill. Yes, yes. Um, so with William Sadler, I was lucky enough and gracious enough that I was able to paint him, do a portrait of him. And then initially, when we first started to do the show, we wanted to do like several different scenes from films that I liked. And of course, one of them was like Shawshank Redemption and a lot of things. And with my friend Michael, he was, you know, cool enough and gracious enough, and uh, Mr. Sadler was gracious enough to sit for me and let me like do my little artistic wonder with him. So it was really amazing to be able to do that. Well, let's find out his thoughts on your paintings, yes. okay? Let's bring him on over. <laughs> Mr. Sadler, we welcome you to the set. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hi, Donna, nice to meet nice you. Nice to be here. So he was telling me about the portrait that you sat for, and I would love to know your experience about working with Stephen Colby. It was extraordinary. I've actually never sat for a painter before, um, and he worked away. It was sort of, it was odd because I was being interviewed as well at the same time, so I was thinking and talking and carrying. I wasn't sitting still at all. So I had to just keep the mental picture. So and so when he got done, it actually looked like someone moving around a lot. No, it was, it was interesting though because I wasn't. I was so distracted by. Uh, Larry's interview. Company, yeah. <laughs> right, this conversation, this wide ranging, on camera interview um, about movies, about life, about art, and whatever, and so on. And, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Steve says, I got it. Yeah, I'm done. And it was done. I'm done. Yeah, it was done. It was done. It was like in, you know. Not too long. No time. Like a half hour, 25 minutes, half hour, or something. So wonderful how you can take a vision and bring it into reality, very much like acting. You know, when you're doing a character, right? You have the vision first, I guess, in your mind of what you want that character to bring forth. Right. right. Exactly. I kind of like that as well because I feel like sometimes, like with painting, you know, it, like I always say, like in life, you can't really control things the way that you may want to. But when it comes to my hands, I can just pretty much do whatever I want to do, whether it be happy theme, sad theme, whatever. It's just I ultimately dictate the way that it's going to go. So. I think you also have a freedom uh, in your work that is amazing. But I, it's just you just have a uh, things flow, and if it isn't flowing, I would uh, describe that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's like you get in a groove, and it's like a piece of music. It's going, and it's going to go until it's done going. If you don't have that support team around you, how are you supposed to find? Them? Your voice. You, know, you wander and you wander and stumble around until you fall into something. So, so I was very happy to be a part of it. And I'm so happy to be a part of it too. Uh, stay tuned for more on Live It Up.